There is a misguided thought that atheists are smarter, more rational, and even enlightened when compared to Christians. Saying something like this is actually quite embarrassing and uneducated, because history shows there's dozens of famous Christian scientists who not only believed in God, but who participated in the realm of science to honor God's creation and understand its death. Consider math and physics genius Sir Isaac Newton. Although the laws of motion and universal gravitation became his best known discoveries, he warned against using them to view the universe as a mere machine. He said gravity explained the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who set the planets in motion. God governs all things and knows all that is or can be done. Louis Pasteur, a Christian, was one of the most important founders of medical microbiology and vaccinations and invented the process of pasteurization. Certainly in school you've studied the works of Johann Gregor Mendel, pioneer of genetics and a monk. Lord Kelvin laid the foundation of modern physics, coined the term kinetic energy, and is widely known for determining the correct value of absolute zero in temperature. He is noted as one of the most influential scientists of the 19th century, yet was a devout believer in Christianity through his life. In fact, attendance at chapel was part of his daily routine. The Wright brothers, not only being raised by a minister, were noted as constantly showing good Christian conduct in their work when they invented the first airplane. Johannes Kepler, discoverer of the laws of planetary motion, believed that God had created the world according to an intelligible plan, and even thought that the solar system was an excellent illustration of the Holy Trinity. Blaise Pascal, in addition to being a Christian philosopher, he was also a mathematical genius in the areas of geometry and probability and invented the mechanical calculator. Robert Boyle, regarded today as the founder of modern chemistry, was a devout Christian and he publicly debated atheists and helped put the Bible in other languages. George Washington Carver, scientist, botanist, educator, and inventor, developed and promoted about a hundred products made from peanuts that were useful for the house and farm, including cosmetics, dyes, paints, plastics, gasoline, and nitroglycerin. He testified on many occasions that his faith in Jesus Christ was the only mechanism by which he could effectively pursue and perform the art of science. Sir Francis Bacon, who is most known for creating the scientific method, wrote multiple books of utopian societies where the Christian faith reigned supreme. Galileo, famous for his scientific achievements in astronomy, mathematics, physics, and discovering that the sun is the center of our planetary system, was also infamous for his controversy with the early church, but was in fact a devout Christian who saw not a divorce of religion and science, but only a healthy marriage of the two. And then there's Michael Faraday, an electricity and magnetism guru who had a strong sense of unity of God and nature in his life work.